Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on modern JavaScript for reliability development series. So in today's video, we will learn about destructuring assignment syntax. So guys, the destructing assignment syntax is a JavaScript expression that makes it possible to unpack values from array or properties from object into distinct variables. So JavaScript developers are always trying to get data in and out of array or objects. Most probably you have to use the standard way because like while developing something in JavaScript, you will be always passing the data in a collection. And instead of passing it like one by one on separate parameters, you will make a collection of it. And then maybe you will pass it to FX or wherever it requires. So to create a collection, maybe you, you can use an array or maybe an object. It is completely up to you, up to your requirement. So let's try to understand it using an example, like how we are using it in, in the standard way and how we can use it using the destructing assignment syntax okay so for this video also i'll be using the same playground which is from playcode.io so let me click on get started and create an empty javascript template here it is okay let me remove it okay now let's try to create a collection first okay so let's suppose if i'm passing the data like first name and last name okay now these are two literals and let's suppose if you have to pass it so you will be creating a collection of it so let's suppose if we will create a collection so it could be like user and then we will pass the first name okay and last name okay now let's try to print these values so if i will add a console log here and if i will be user so you'll be having the first name and last name as a collection in this user literal okay so this is the standard way what we used to have previously like before the ESX series before this modern JavaScript. So in today's modern JavaScript, you, you do not have to repeat yourself as long as the variables and object property names are same. Okay. So this was a standard way and let's try the modern way now. So let's suppose if we will create the same literal again or maybe let me just remove this stand away or we can do one more thing let me create another playground so we'll be able to do the side by side comparison okay now i'm using the modern javascript way of doing it so we'll have the same code first name first we'll create two literals and last name Okay, then we'll add the collection user and here previously we have added like first name column then first name value then last name column the last name value. So if your array properties or object properties are same the name of those properties are same so you can just directly assign it like this first name and last name and now if we will print it in a console log. So if you'll notice we are getting the same output what we were having in the standard way but using this modern way we can save few line of codes okay so all we did here was remove the repeating variable name and columns and uh, this modified modern javascript comes in handy when you have object containing a large number of fields but that is not all in es6 pro uh, es6 modern javascript thing ESX also provides a simpler way of getting data out of arrays or object. This also helps reduce repetitive lines of code and let's, un let's try to understand it using, using an example. So let's suppose if I'm having, if I'm having a array here, so I have created 
a literal and here I'm putting the array values like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now to get data out of this array, you can assign its value to variables like, so let's suppose I'm creating one and if I will assign it like this, number zero, so it will be assigned one here and the same way we can have other parameters. Uh, let's suppose two, So this is basically the standard way of doing it to assign array's value in, in distinct literals or so. And let's see the output also. Let's suppose if I will type one here, so we'll be having the output of from the array because the array is also having the value here. Okay. Now let's see like how we can get the same thing but using the modern way okay so in the data you can access the data through the variable name itself so here if you will see in this example the number one would be printed into the console if we will just directly use the one here okay so this is the uh, this is the standard way of doing it now let's try it with them with the modern way ones so let's suppose if we are having If we are having the same thing, let me just copy it and paste it here. Okay. But in that case, the properties uh, name should be similar what you're trying to get out of it. So let's suppose if you are having the values like one, two, three, four and five. Okay. then we can directly assign it like this okay now let's suppose if I will try to print one directly so it will be having the value automatically from that uh, number thing okay so let's try that let's have that numbers as well okay so previously what we did is like we were assigning values one by one using the index of the array but now we have added uh, we have added distinct literals here and we have directly assigned the uh, number array here okay so now what we can do is we can simply print it like if i will do one so we'll be having one here okay so it will be basically automatically having the sequence in which uh, the array was assigned to these literals okay for the next one let's suppose if i will try to print three three okay i did spelling mistake here yes we are having the value so if you will compare this also with the old way, so here also we are just assigning these arrays I and mean the output will be same. We are trying to get the same thing, but doing this way, we can, you know, save some line of code, save, save some extra efforts as well. Okay. Now let's try to understand the array destructing more using some other example as well. So let's suppose like how we can do the basic variable assignment using this array destructing method so this will be the basic uh, variable assignment using the array destructing met method you can just simply assign it like this okay now let's try another example so in the next example we will say like how we can use this dis destructing with more elements than the source so let's suppose in in this uh, example this is the source okay and 
this is the result where we are trying to get values from source so right now in source we are having five well five values and in result also we are having five values but what if we are having more values in result as compared to the source so let's suppose if in source we are having just two values okay so guys basically in an array destructing from an array of length specified on the right hand side of the assignment if the number of variable specified on the left hand side of the assignment is greater than the uh, size of the source so the value of the remaining variables will be undefined automatically so if you will notice in the output so you can see the one here but for the three you are getting undefined but if i will print two here So you'll be having the value because uh, that because two is available in the source as well but three which is not available in the source so for three you will be getting result as undefined okay and guys also using this destructuring method you can swap the variable values okay so you can swap the values using the expression as well so let's try to swap the value so let's suppose like if we have a value like this a is equal to 1 and B is equal to 3 okay now if you would like to swap the value you can do it like a B is equal to B A okay now if I will try to print the values so let's say console.log now if I will try to print a so the a value should be 3 and b value should be 1 so if I will type a so you can see the value in console it is 3 and if I will try to print b here so the value will be 1 so using these expressions you can also uh, swap the variables values or swap the variables uh, content as well okay now guys using this uh, destructuring syntax you can also parse an array return from a function okay so let's try that example as well so let's suppose we are having a function here and this function is having values like return 1 and 2 okay so guys usually like with the standard way you can always have values like using some uh, index of it but using this array destructuring thing you can directly assign those function values in the in a collection or in your parameter as well so let's suppose if i'm having a constant here and in this constant i'm having a and b okay now if i will assign the value of my function directly so this uh, one and two will be assigned to this a and b okay let's try to print them as well so if i will print a so you can see one here and the same way if I will print B so you will be able to see the next value as well and guys using this function method as well you can ignore values if needed so let's suppose if in the function we are having three values okay now let's suppose you need to ignore the second value and you need the first and third value as well that needs to be assigned in this a and b so for that what you can do is to ignore a value you can simply uh, i would say add a blank value here using this to comma so using the comma we can simply add a value like this so the two will be ignored here and we will be just having one and three directly so that's how you can also ignore values uh, from your array or from your function as well all right and also like if you need a single value so let's suppose so it is like it is same like the previous example where we were having less values 
in the target and more values in the source. So here also we are having more values, but we need less values in the target. So if you need some specific value, like if you will have just a single parameter, so it will automatically take the first value. If you will have two parameters, it is going to take first and second. And if you are having three parameters, it will be taking all three values. But if you need some specific value, like, like you need to skip the second value or maybe the first value. So for that, you can use this, uh, use this method where you just need to place a blank value okay and if you need so you can also ignore all return values as well so for that you can just simply have it like so first value then comma second value then comma and this will be the third value so you can see the result of this constant will be null So that's how you can ignore all the values available in that array. So that's it for today, guys. And that is all about the destructuring syntax in arrays, how you can use it and where you can use it. If you need the complete code as well, so I'll be having it on my blog as well, which is salesforcecode.com. You can directly go there and check it out. And also I'll be having the reference link in the description of this video. So if you need the complete a reference of this array destructuring thing or if you need more examples you can just directly go to that link and check it out so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you like today's video subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching